Hello, my name is Stephen Upton and welcome to my From the Air series. In this short video we're going to be taking a look at Royal Air Force Station Newton. It's situated near the village of Bingham in Nottinghamshire. I was actually stationed here in 1976 and 77 for about 18 months and at that time it was a non-operational airfield. Originally it was built in 1939 and in 1940 two squadrons of fairy battles arrived here and very shortly after they were converted to Wellington bombers. However the following year it became a, training, a flying training school for Polish pilots and for the next five years remained in that role. At my time in the 1970s it was a training camp. Air Training Corps headquarters were there, RAF education and the RAF police and police dog schools. What we're flying towards now is the World War II bomb dump. You can clearly see the blast walls there and between those would have been stored the bombs for the Wellington bombers. As to how many you could have stored in each I really don't know, but, but certainly similar bomb dumps like that I'd patrolled as a dog handler in the Middle East, they could have contained many hundreds of bombs. During my time there, the area was used for training of dogs. And having a huge open airfield with no flying going on, it was great for taking long walks with your dog. I think the dogs must have loved it there. The airfield now is in private hands. The hangars have been bought by some haulage firm and I, I understand from talking to a local that someone's going to convert the old air traffic control tower into a private house. Well, at least uh, it preserves it. I've no reference to how many operational sorties were flown from here during 1940 uh, by the Wellington bombers and of course how many of those airmen perhaps never came back. Many of these old airfields now are just disappearing, becoming industrial sites. But of course big open spaces of land like this and hangars are incredibly valuable nowadays as real estate but there's such a lot of history here I should imagine this bomb dump has not been used at all for anything other than walking dogs since the end of the war As we pan round now you get an idea as to the size of the airfield. I certainly remember being told in the 70s that it was the only grass airfield still in, the, in service in the Royal Air Force. And the Nottingham University Air Squadron at that time also flew from here occasionally using small uh, twin-seater aircraft. We're now flying towards what would have been the dog school. This is where I spent a lot of my time. The hangar over to the left, one nearest to us, the left half that hangar was used by the RAF Police Dog Demonstration Team, which was the unit I was based with. And as we move closer in now, just in the bottom right you see some long runs surrounded by chain link fence. That's where you could let a dog off the lead to have a good run around. And then the concrete hard standings there. Twenty kennels for each block, six blocks, up to 120 dogs could be housed there. The first few, all the chain link fencing is gone, but the last one on the right there, not only is the chain link fencing there, but you can still see the original wooden kennels. In the distance, where it's been flattened, there was administrative block, and also the quarantine kennels for dogs that were not well. Of course, they had to be kept isolated from all the other dogs. Good view of the hangars 
and there's the air traffic control tower in the distance. If you've enjoyed this film, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Although the majority of my films are my main interest, which is the First World War and filming First World War battlefields, I will be adding other films of similar interest, and particularly old airfields such as this one. But I want to thank you for watching, if you've got this far, and I hope you've enjoyed it and found it informative. If you too were stationed here and you want to get in touch, my website address is at the end. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this of interest.